Hello, I'm Corey. Welcome to this edition of the Healthy Families MIS video training series. During this video, we will be reviewing how to enter data using the one-step enrollment process. We are using a test site, so all the data you will see is fake. We start entering the case as usual with the screen form. Once the screen form is complete, the MIS directs us to the basic information page. We can click here to access the forms page. The forms page looks a little different than we are used to now that we are using the one-step process. Instead of having a pre-assessment and pre-intake form, we have one form called the engagement log. The intake form is now called the baseline form and the assessment form or FROG is no longer located in the first column. There is still a forms hierarchy, however, it is a changed order. The engagement log and the ID and contact form need to be entered prior to the FROG and the baseline form. Just a note to supervisors, the engagement log should be marked for approval under the forms review options located in the settings tab. Let's look at the engagement log. It is started as the pre-assessment and the pre-intake forms were both started, with the month and the year in which the engagement took place. At first glance, the forms look similar. At the top, we can see the PC1 ID, the screen date, the worker name, and the month of activity. If the target child estimated due date or date of birth needs to be changed, it can be changed here on question number five without consequence. Under question number six, we can see that the activities are grayed out. And if we click here on more details, there's an explanation of how the activities are pre-filled from the case notes. Please read this carefully when entering the engagement form the first time. Let's go to case notes and I can show you how the activities are entered. Click on the case notes tab and then on the add case notes button. Enter the date of the activity, not the date that the activity is entered, but the date of the actual activity. And click the drop down box to see the list of contact types. So let's say on August 15th, we make a phone call to the parent. We will click number 10 and then add any case notes that are pertinent to the phone call. And click submit to save. Let's add a couple more. Now we have a small list of case notes for the month of August. Let's see how they look on the engagement log. Now we can see the contacts that we have made to the family under the activities performed. One thing that needs to be mentioned is that the activities on the engagement log can be edited or added to at any time, even after the engagement form has been reviewed and approved by a supervisor. The case status is entered the same with the same options that were on the pre-assessment and pre-intake form. Let's go back to the forms page. So now we can see the ID and contact form has been opened up for data entry. The ID and contact form is entered in the same manner as usual with the same required fields. Once the ID and contact form has been completed, the FROG, home visits, and baseline form are open for data entry, and the case will follow the usual progression. So that ends our video on entering a case with the one-step enrollment process. We hope it was helpful, and we appreciate you taking your time to view this video. It will be posted on our blog, 
along with other training videos and training documents. Take care and we hope to see you next time. Bye.